everybody. Hi everyone, mga Dananatics. Thank you for coming there in the studio right now. Oh, they're there. Of yeah. course, I can see them. Wait. Oh, there they are. <laughs> My goodness. Darren has grown taller. He's taller than me. I'm wearing heels. <laughs> the last time he was here, Medjo, I think, short. Pan yeah, better Medjo Pantay died last year. That was oh. just last year, huh? Yeah. And now you're taller than me. I did the celebrity stop over. Yeah. Thing, and also the mellow stage one. Right. Oh, yeah, this is your third time. No, fourth. Because that includes. I um, was radio guesting when I was promoting The Voice Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Five, six times. And then you were also here some well, a few weeks ago to also promote the launch of your album. Yes. So you're always welcome here at Mellow 94. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for so always, much. you know, thank you for always making time to thank drop by here. Me. So there. A lot of interesting and exciting stories from Darren today. Of course, we all know that he has his new album. It was, you know, it was quite a challenge for me to open this one because I didn't want to destroy it. Uh, this is a finely packaged album. Yeah, we're, we're very creative with it. Yeah. Yeah, even your first one, right? It was comic it was. book, yeah, comic book themed. And for this one, yes, we'll talk about the concept behind this one later on. All right, so let's get started with the show and let's get started with Darren's first song for us. What will you be singing? I'm going, to, I'm going to be doing a cover and it's called What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber. Right, and this song is brought to us by Shelby Power Nitro Plus. Stay connected with your friends on your next road trip. Invite them with your postpaid or prepaid perks when you gas up at Shell. Darren Espanto live on stage one. Darren is fond of performing live for us all the way till 3 today. So if you have any messages for him or requests, let us know via Twitter at Melo947 or just post it on our Facebook page. Now this is so crazy, my goodness. 107 comments. I'll try to get to all of your messages. I'll try. Oh my gosh. I'll ask Darren to help me out, of course. Sure. But you know, I mean, you're, you're probably faced with this dilemma. Every single morning that you wake up, you would check on your Instagram or your Twitter and... <gasps> So many notifications. Yeah. So how do you wade through them? Because I understand that there are some fans that they would kind of feel bad and like let's say he said a fan or all that, but I don't think that you mean it. It's just that there's so many There's messages so much that to read. In. And then um how do you sometimes, handle it? Sometimes I like to talk with people and metal times na hyper talaga ako na masyado makulit. Yeah. And then I would just start saying hi to so many random people. Uh-huh. And then that's kind of how I like to interact in a way. Yeah, but it's, it, 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 I guess it depends also if you're not very busy, right? Yeah. But yeah, but the, if he gets, if he doesn't get to your message, that doesn't mean that he's gonna ignore you forever. Yeah. And, you know, it's just that he's busy and he has so many things to attend to. Like, of course, I'm sure you're getting ready for your concert. We'll talk more about your concert later on. But, of course, your your new album also, when you were getting ready for this. And when did you start recording songs for this new album? I started recording songs for this album last year, November. And actually, the first song I recorded was Seven Minutes. And then... Um, I finished it early this year. And I, I remember last year when you were here, we were talking about how you you, you still make it a point that you keep your voice in tip-top condition. Yeah, so I like, try to. Yeah, you you still train, right? Yeah, I vocalize every day, but then, um, like right now I have a cold, so it's kind of hard to sing. Really? Yeah. I didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> now that you mentioned it, right? But of yeah. course, uh, well, we all know that you, Chandra, your voice is changing. It's a little bit different from the last time that you were here. So how do you handle that? Or how, how do you manage the change in your pitch, Diva? Right? Of course, the songs that you sing. Yeah, sometimes I have to change the pitch. But for me, I, I can still reach the, the notes I used to sing before. And um, I just keep on singing and practicing and I don't really overthink what if my voice changes one day. Well, for me, it's, it's a normal thing we have to go through, so I wouldn't be surprised if one day it was suddenly like really low. You just work with it, no? Okay, if I was able to sing this song really well a few years ago, then that's good. Mm -hmm. But then suddenly at some point during my career, we got, okay, I won't be able to sing it at this key, let's adjust yeah. it, right? So that's good, at least you're flexible, and I'm sure your fans and all of your followers appreciate that still about you, right? 
So there. All right, let's get you more music from Darren Espanto. What is your next song for us? My next song is one of the singles from my second album. It's called Starlight, and actually, it was composed by a Singaporean, so mm -hmm. it is a number one in Singapore, apparently, so I'm very happy about Congratulations. that. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so was the song just given to you? Were you able to meet the songwriter before you recorded it? I didn't get to meet him before, but then I met him actually this month, or last month, but, uh, and uh, he's a really nice guy, and I like this track because it's EDM, and it's fun to dance to, it's fun to groove to, and, um, yeah. If you, you know, you know what, we're not restricting you. We have a little bit of space over there, and I'm sure your fans would be happy. If you want to groove, just go ahead. Yeah. Right? So here's Starlight by Darren, es Darren Espanto, live on stage one. Hey, Darren Espanto. Darren Espanto. <laughs> kind of. No, 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 you can. It's just that it's, um, there, there's like an extra hiss. Yeah. So there, think of a chef like you're, you're a snake. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually near the, uh, I was born near the snake. Oh, born so. near the snake. Yeah. All right. Let's get to the quick fan Q and A. We'll be entertaining some questions on the Facebook page. Uh, let's see. There are a lot of people sending their love. Of course, we have Marvin Estrada. Estrada. There's also um, Sheena or is it Sheena Marie who says, "Kani nararam daman yung ayon na malapit na yung concert niya sa Kia Theater." I feel very nervous, and I guess kind of pressured because it's another year and so and then I've also grown as an artist so I don't really know what the fans should expect yet but um what have you been rehearsing so far like what are you preparing for them without giving out too much of the details huh? there's a lot of there's more dance numbers in this one and it's a more personal concept but there's still the the ballad songs, the the pop, the feel good, and of course songs from my album. And there's gonna be a lot of surprises, I'd say, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Another question from Elsa Villanueva, Maria Elsa Villanueva. She says, "What is your favorite young flavor of ice cream?" My favorite flavor of ice cream would have to be cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Yeah. Since you were a kid. Yeah. Okay. Jillian just says that she was oh well, she was able to score tickets already for your concert. Oh thank you. Alright, and then Jay is also here and then we have Troy and wow oh, these the, the, the messages here are just so overwhelming. <laughs> Let's uh, check our Twitter at Mellow947. Let's do it. Okay, this is funny. Akosi Akosi Pizza says, Darren, can bad aids really fix bullet holes? I know. I don't actually know. That would um, it probably could for a certain amount of minutes, but not necessarily, not really fix, because I'm pretty sure you'd still have to go to the emergency in a hospital. All right, galing. Like, this is how we analyze the Taylor Swift song, like, right? I'm taking it seriously. Um, <laughs> just poking fun at it. Yeah. So there, another question, let's see. Um, oh, so many messages here. It's so hard to, it's so hard to pick one. Um, Marion just says, well, she can identify with the fact that you do struggle with math and science as well. And then, uh, same with Sophia. Wait, looking for a... Okay. Angelica says, ilang taon ka nung kinumpose mo yung hanggang hi, hello? I was 11, but then when I came back to it now that I was... I was 14 when I recorded it. I had to change some lyrics. Because, again, none of that made sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then... But what led you to write that song? Well, you know, like, since as a kid, we have crushes on TV. And so that was kind of a thing for me. Kind of an inspiration, they Is say. that crush still the same up until today? or Yeah. What? It's at like a three. And then, basta. 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 And then... The, the song of Hanggang Hayalo is kind of just like for those who have crushes who are really shy to say what they feel for that person. So, Hanggang Hayalo na lang ba siya? And that's pretty much it. So, would you say that you're you're shy? No, actually, like me, a if you have a crush, I would just say it. Because it wala nang mawawala sa'yo. Okay. Yeah. And it actually works better that way, I find. Basta. Older boys! <laughs> Why? Please listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from a young, from a teenager.
teenager. Why? It's true. Well, yeah. Or maybe because when you're younger, parang you're more confident. I don't know. Maybe it's just confusing. But for some, because it's kind of, ano, it's kind of challenging for them to just go up to the girl and tell her, "Ano mo crush kita?" Yeah. But for you, it's easy. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Why? So <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. As an artist, I also grew because I've learned a lot more through the years, and I've learned from my mistakes. And of course, the past as well. All right. Who oh, got? Parang in the past, nagyan parang recent lang. Yeah. I don't know. Probably, probably not. No. Do you still know? Do you still come out with your vlogs? Even you, you mentioned before that you have your YouTube channel. Uh, I still, I'm still processing it. I guess I've started making vlogs, but I just posted it on my Instagram. But the well, good for Instagram channel, because there's like more, but there's a one yeah, minute limit now. Yeah, it's just now. one minute. But then, so I posted in parts. But then on YouTube, I'm still trying to find time to actually create my channel. So right. I hope it'll be up this year, <laughs> pretty soon. Yeah. Plus, you mentioned that you you actually like creating these family videos as well, like with your when you're with your sister, yeah. right? I do. I like to do that, and I feel like sometimes I'm. One of those videography people, videography companies, where I do a lot of like video stuff around random places and take photos randomly. But then I don't know. I kind of found an interest in it, so I'm enjoying that as well when I have spare time. Yeah. So when you're not singing, we'll see you working behind the lens. Yeah. Maybe you'd be a music video, yeah, video director somewhere. <laughs> I hope so. I want get to direct my own music video someday, you know. Or also get to direct it. Yeah. It's not even a month old. So there. So if you don't have a copy of it just yet, please. So do pick it up at your favorite record stores or also online, like we mentioned, Spotify, Apple Music, and Deezer.